Alright, I'm back to give you guys an updated uh, post on how to take uh, viruses, malware, and other adware off your computer for free. So, uh, first I want you to open up Google. And we're going to get uh, download malware bytes, anti malware. First link should be right. And you could buy it if you really wanted to. I recommend it honestly, it's pretty good. But we're just going to go to the download page and it's going to give us the free version for now. So you open up the setup, make it a security warning or something, say yes, then click OK on that English. Click next, you accept it. Click next, do this. It's just recent updates. Next, all the way through. I only threw a one in there because I already have the full version on my computer. Eight, and. So it's all set. I'm just going to cancel my installation since I already installed it. Otherwise, you're just going to let it finish your ins installation. So when you open it, security breach, you say yes to open. Yes to allow it. Here's the interface. See that? You click scan at the top, you get your custom settings, history from what it uh, picked up recently. I'm just going to empty that for right now. Right, so settings. When you come in here, there's going to be under automated schedule. It'll have something that I already took away, which is it'll actually be that a threat scan, um, and it's going to be set to work like every single day, and it'll be in there like that. So what you want to do is click and remove it. You don't want it to go every single day. So what we're going to do is do a custom scan. Uh, you could pick scan fruit kits for right now, we're not going to. And scanning um, operating system is definitely a must. And then you should really do anything else that uh, is hooked into your computer. You've really got to let this work all the way through. It'll take, you know, it can take a few hours depending on how many files and programs you got on your computer. Um, you really want it to... Uh, rack up the detected objects, that means it's working. Um, so once the scan finishes, it'll let you quarantine everything. Make sure you quarantine everything, and when you're done, go to your history, like I did just a, mo uh, a moment ago, and uh, delete everything in the quarantine. And it most likely will ask you to restart your computer, make sure you restart it, uh, to further make sure that everything gets removed from your computer. Next, I want you to download CCleaner um, right from Pyroform. Just the free version is all you need. Click download. It'll start automatically. Don't touch anything on this page. Alright, now click in and open. Alright, click next. All those check marks are okay, you can click next. Uh, it's just some ad. Don't want to install that, so we're just going to say no. Click next, and it'll install. Now I'll open up my copy. Alright, so now we're going to open CCleaner. Alright, and I want you to make sure you uncheck all these boxes that I have unchecked. And make sure your browser, I personally use Google Chrome, make sure that's unchecked for cookies and your saved passwords. And also uncheck uh, these boxes here for Office. Um, <clears throat> what this does is it makes sure 
the scene cleaner doesn't go through and delete some things that you actually would want to keep. Um, but what it will do is when you click analyze, it'll find everything that is useless on your computer and um, delete those things um, because they're just taking up space and wasting space. So when you click analyze, if it's your first time running, it'll take 15 minutes, probably even more. Um, so you can just click it, walk away, and come back, check it every I don't know, five or ten minutes, and you'll see just how much uh, space that you're going to be freeing up when you run the cleaner. All right, here we go. So mine ran, ran quicker because I had already uh, run this earlier, and it found about eight gigabytes worth of uh, memory that's going to free up. And it shows you a breakdown of everything that's going to be deleting. So now you click Run Cleaner. And you got to know that it's going to be deleting these things. Say OK and let that run through. It'll take just as long or maybe a little bit shorter than what it took to analyze. It should be a bit shorter. All right, and there it is. It's all set. So. One thing I'm going to show you actually is if we have Google open, and let's say I went to Google and um, we're going to search, uh, let's search like basketball, just to grab some random things and uh, to put some random things into my cache. All right, so now we have all these thing, um, things like pictures that sometimes will get stored on your uh, internet temporary files and those can be useless when you're not uh, revisiting websites often. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, show you a little part of CCleaner. So you see if I leave Google Chrome open it's going to ask me to close it so we can go through the temp files there. So you click yes it'll force close and if you look at that it's got 15.6 megabytes clean. So we're going to run that, get rid of those, and then we take a second to delete that. And you're all set. Now another part of C Cleaner that's wonderful is the registry cleaner. Click over here on the left, registry, and make sure all of these are checked. I'm going to scan for issues. This can sometimes pick up anywhere from only a few to a few hundred of problems that it sees. Let's see. So it's not going to tell me how many, I guess, but uh, right here, I just want to make changes just in case anything ever goes wrong, uh, you'll have a backup. So I would just save it on your desktop. I already have one right there. And I'll just do the same format. Six, oops, sorry, it's supposed to be nine. It's 14th and it's 2015 to save. Just to be safe, there we go, 207. So I'm just going to have it do fix all. Wonderful. However, you should do it again because sometimes it won't go through all the way. Why? I'm not quite sure, but we're just going to do it. We don't bother with that. Fix all. We're going to do it one more time just to really be sure. Hopefully this one doesn't come up with anything, but it might. And we're all set there. And that is seat cleaner. Now, after C Cleaner, I want you to find a W Cleaner, and we're gonna. I download it from here, so. You just click right there to download, and it'll begin the download. Same as the other um, programs, just set it up. Be careful of uh, when you're going through. Say yes for your security. Right, and here we are. 
So what we're going to do is we'll click scan. This program's nice because sometimes it'll pick up on things that Malwarebytes won't catch. Um, it's just another program, just another line of defense, really. All right, so now we're back at the end of um, Add W Cleaner. Um, after you run C Cleaner, usually this will not pick up all that much, but it'll pick up some things. You can see what it's picking up. We go through here. So all we're going to do is click Clean. Um, so normally I'll click OK, but it would close my uh, screen capture. Um, Otherwise, click OK, and for it to finish the cleaning, it's going to make you turn off your computer. So, or, uh, not turn off, but restart your computer, which is OK. So make sure you click OK. All right. Two more to go. We're going to do Jitter T. JRT uh, stands for Junk Removal Tool. Same thing. Just download right there. I've got one right here. So, mine is how to do it. So it is. So here we are, downloaded, clicked it to open it, and here it is, it opens something funky, it opens up literally the, uh, the command prompt. So let this run all the way through, it might make your bottom bar disappear, that's okay, um, and it will show at the end um, what it's taken away, it'll make a long notepad file that should be on your desktop um, when it completely finishes. I don't want it to finish because I think it would close my uh, screen capture, so I'm just going to close out of it early. One more. Your TDS killer. It's a free download, so we're not going to bother putting in any information. We want the ex the uh, execution rule. So click there. Download. So same kind of thing. Set it up. Uh, click there. Open. Right now, I've already got it, so I'll close out, go to it. You also want to ask uh, to give uh, permission to it. I'm not supposed to make any update, anyways. So, mine downloads. Zip. So yes, <coughs> we're gonna accept. Accept. Let it install all the way through. We're gonna start the scan and. I've only had this thing pick up uh, something once. You know, it doesn't scan much, but it scans uh, important uh, Windows files 
make sure that there's nothing um, inside of them, messing around with them. Because um, where it scans is uh, the easiest way to get in and really wreak havoc on your computer. So this scan will only take about a minute. And just as expected for me, I don't have anything wrong with my computer. So it comes up with nothing. So that's it. Um, there's not much else that I can show you here. Um, if you have any questions, you can try uh, leave a comment, and I will get back to you within a couple days. Um, but I really hope that you guys can uh, fix your computers. I hope you don't take it to a computer store, because they're probably just going to do exactly what I showed you here. Alright, good luck everybody.